the UJA Shinshinim at the Elate Lot Toronto Comuna, or as we like to call it, Comuna Toronto, a group of 10 boys and girls after high school. We came, we came from all over the country to do a year of service, Shnat Shavut. A year of service is a year in which you volunteer and contrib contribute to your community. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, we weren't able to come to Toronto, so we created a volunteer year in a lot, Toronto's Twin City. In a lot in the area, we volunteer in elementary schools throughout the city, agriculture in Kibbutz Alifaz, projects with the elderly community in the city, programs for us after school, and many, many more. Beyond that, we work online with the Jewish community of Toronto. Every single one of us has its own institutions. And on special occasion, we work at community-wide events like this one. Excuse me, Shin Shin, can I ask you a question? This is the Bar Mitzvah set, right? Thank you. What does the Bar Bat Mitzvah year mean to you? It's an age that you get duties and not only rights, and it's an age that you understand that you're not a little kid anymore and that you're growing up. I think that the age of the Bar Bat Mitzvah is the time when you become part of the community. You understand that you can give from yourself to the community and not only take. Okay, so for me, it is the time when you start having responsibility and you get the benefits of being adult. It's also the time when you start figuring out your interests and hobbies. Was there anything special that you did in your bar bat mitzvah year? So in my community, every age group that comes to the age of the bar mitzvah is doing a special project for the community. So in my age group, we went to an old cave in the center of the issue and we innovated it. So it means that we cleaned the whole place, built some places to light fires and make food, and we construct some places that were crumbling before. Okay, so uh, I went with my mom uh, to a trip uh, in Armenia. We did trek trip in the mountain. And we had a great time, we learned about the new culture, we had an amazing experience and also our mother-daughter connection got better. My favorite thing of this year was a few special events with the girls from the shop. We volunteered in the soup kitchen together, we went on a bicycle trip to Tel Aviv, we did ceramics workshop and of course we celebrated our bat mitzvah party together. How did you prepare for the event? I learned the parasha of the week I was born in. I learned it for about four months. And then, in the day of the bar mitzvah, I read it in front of my whole family and friends. In my school, we had bat mitzvah meetings with the wife of our town main rabbi. And in my youth movement, our group started taking more responsibility and helping with organizing events for the younger kids for holidays and special events. How did you celebrate the event? I had two events. The first one started with only my family who had a little ceremony about me. Then, for the second half, we had a big show and ceremony about my kibbutzah. My kibbutzah is my age group in the kibbutz, and that show was for the whole kibbutz. But that wasn't enough for me. I wanted more. So I had another party, a bat mitzvah party, with my friends. We danced and had so much fun. Um, I did it in a ballroom with a lot of family and friends and of course food and snacks and picture magnets. Also, I had a day full of fun with my best friend before the event. I had a bar mitzvah with my little sister. I had a bar mitzvah and she had a bar mitzvah. She did the Aliyah Torah with me, which is a very unusual thing to do here in Israel. When I grew up in San Francisco, I was very affected to the Jewish community there. And when me and my sister saw a bar mitzvah for the first time, we knew we had to have one together. So we did the event in the backyard of our garden, and we called it a bar mitzvah. For my bat mitzvah, I had two events. 
My favorite one was with my family and closest friends, and it was so much fun. What was the funniest moment at the event? <laughs> In my bat mitzvah party, I insisted on having a chocolate fountain. So everybody really liked it and tried to get to it. So in the end, a lot of the chocolate ended up on the floor and some of it even in my hair. I've had an hilarious Mitzvah clip. My whole family was in it. It was so embarrassing, but it was cute. Okay, so to the big event, to the party, we invited a comedian and he gave me uh, real glasses and a hat. He asked me to come up to the stage and do some uh, impersonations to the Verva, which is a big movie star and a comedian in Israel. And I didn't know how to do that. And it was very embarrassing because I think fun. All of my friends were fun. But it was fun though. All right, so at every bar or bat mitzvah event I've ever been to, a Coca-Cola was spilled on me. No matter how hard I tried for it to not happen, it happened. And of course, on my bat mitzvah, a Coca-Cola was spilled on me as well. That's it? Yeah, no? I can go now, right?